Right, hey guys, it's Weston here. So today I'm going to be reviewing the Sennheiser GSP 358 gaming headset. Now, Harvard PR did send this out to review, but as always, that does not impact my judgment and all the opinions in this video are my own. So let's get into it. And the GSP 350 is like a combination of a gaming headset and a set of headphones. Now, it's like a hybrid design between the two and I think it works really well. They've gone for a grey and black colour scheme with some red accents. Now, I would prefer it if the accents were white and that way it would fit with more setups, but I do think the red is a really nice addition and it just does fit nicely. So on the left hand side we've got your microphone, now the microphone has the same colour scheme and it is really nicely designed, it feels solid and it's got a flexible section in the middle which allows you to position it better when you're using it. The mic rotation is really nice and smooth too and like with most headphones you move it forward to activate it and then you move it backwards if you want to mute it and it just works really well. Also on this side we've got access for your removable cable. Now the cable is really solid, it's really robust and it is really long. So the cable comes in two sections, one half is 1.7 meters and half of that connects into the headset and the other half is a dongle for Dolby, so that means you can switch Dolby 7.1 on and off on the fly which is really good. The second half is 1.2 meters and that connects from the dongle to the PC. So in total the cable is around 2.9 meters which is really long. You can also buy a separate cable for consoles so it'll work with Xbox and PlayStation and I will link that in the description. Also on here we've got some Sennheiser branding on the sliding mechanism. Now the sliding mechanism is made from plastic and it feels pretty solid even though it is plastic. And the sliding mechanism is relatively smooth and I think it will get smoother over time. So then we get round onto the headband and this is a split design and it's obviously designed for improved comfort which I'll talk more about later on in the video. On the right hand side we've got a similar design to the left hand side apart from the built in volume control which is really really great, it's smooth and it means you can control your volume on the fly without having to go into your computer settings or having to fiddle about with the cable. Now we get onto the comfort section of the review and we'll start with the headband first and it's designed after aviation style headphones where they split at the top and what that does is it alleviates pressure from the top of your head and it also increases cooling as well. The padding is also really nice and supple and it's plentiful as well and the headband shape does a really good job of distributing the 290 gram weight across your head. Now we get onto the ear cups and these are lovely. The memory foam padding which is really soft and supple and they're coated with a synthetic style leather which is really plush and really soft. They've got a really unique shape that conforms around your ears. Now if you've got larger ears then you might struggle to fit them in a little bit. I've got smallish to medium sized ears and mine fit perfectly fine but if you've got larger ears then you might find that the tops pinch a little bit. The downside to the comfort is because they're leather and they don't breathe really well, they do get warm after a long gaming session. So taking regular breaks every an hour, two hours, then that'll just alleviate that and you won't get that build up of heat. So now we get onto isolation and leak and because the ear cups create a really, really good seal around your ears, you're going to be blocking out a lot of noise. Now I have a R9390X graphics card which when you're gaming at full till is really really loud and it does a fantastic job of blocking out that noise and also fan noise too. Right guys so it's now time to test the microphone. Now the audio you're hearing is directly from the microphone of the GSP350 so let me know in the comments what you think of it. Now according to Sennheiser's website the microphone is a broadcast quality mic with noise cancelling tech and now I've got my PC on in the background so let me know if you can hear that. Also the microphone frequency is 10 hertz to 15,000 hertz and like I said it's supposed to have noise cancelling tech. So I'd love to hear what you would think of this audio down in the comment section. I personally think it sounds pretty good but I'd love to hear your opinions too. Right, before I get onto the sound section of this review, I'm just going to cover off a few specifications. So this has got a 15Hz to 26,000Hz frequency response, the 19 ohm, and they've got a sound pressure level of 113 decibel. So anyway, let's get into it and talk about the sound. And the sound is in one word, pretty superb. It's immersive, it's engaging, and it really draws you into the game. I'm actually now gaming more because of this, just because of the added connection I'm getting to the game over the speakers I usually use and I'm actually gaming for much longer than I normally do. So for example, I was playing GTA 5 and you know that that game's quite immersive anyway, 
But I found that myself just sat listening to a thunderstorm just because it sounded so realistic and pretty amazing. And I didn't even realize that 20 minutes had passed. It was just that immersive. But the sound overall is deep, it's rich, it's powerful, it's full bodied, and it never sounds thin. It's got fantastic left and right separation. So if you're in a game and you've got a lot of things going on to the sides of you, you can easily distinguish between the two. Soundstage is fantastic as well. You can easily pinpoint where the sound source is coming from. The mid range is clear, it's full of detail, and you're not gonna miss anything. So like minute sounds, you're gonna be able to pick that up. And they're also really well controlled too. So loud sounds aren't deafening and quiet ones are easy to distinguish. And also there's got that awesome volume control so you can change it on the fly if it does get a little bit too loud. And overall the sound just provides a great gaming experience. Now guys, I know this has been a bit of a long review but let's wrap this up. So these are £130 in the UK and yes they are expensive and yes they are missing the cable which I think it should have come with for the price. And yeah, they are a really expensive headset but I think what you're paying for is the experience. I mean the comfort is fantastic. The isolation, the sound, the microphone, all just make it a really great experience. And you are paying that little premium for the experience. Is it worth it? For me, I would say it's making me enjoy my games more. So for me, it is worth it. But I guess I have to leave that up to you if you think it's worth it. Right guys, so that is pretty much it for this review. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, that would be awesome. It goes a long way to help out. And you get to see my videos when they first come out. And that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all on the very next one.